update about um, my writing. I've had a couple of days off work, which has been great. By the way, I've been able to just like do stuff. Doesn't it feel nice when you actually get to do the things you want to do? Oh, I'm working on scene six right now. My main character has to like, how do I put this? She needs to kidnap someone basically. And <laughs> I don't want to say she's not smart because she is, she is clever. However, she's not like a planner, you know? She's not like the type that will meticulously plan out a heist or whatever. Like she's not Kaz Brecker, you know? She's the type of girl that just goes in head first without thinking. She's just like, well, I'm just gonna kidnap this dude. I know this is sort of a time frame in like when I'll be able to do it. And so I'm just gonna do it. If someone would ask her like, okay, so like, what's the plan? How, you, how exactly are you gonna do that? She'd just be like, I don't know. Cause at first I was like trying to plan this thing out. And then I realized she would never do that. She's just gonna go in without a plan. Obviously a bunch of stuff's gonna go wrong. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Cause like it's fun when plans go wrong so i'm just excited to just write her dealing with a bunch of chaos it's gonna be chaos writing's been real fun especially now that i've really been working on it more consistently i do believe i'll be able to finish act one in like i don't want to say a couple days because i don't know how much editing the rest of the chapters need i believe this one scene six is the one that needs the most work because I changed one of the characters in one of the earlier chapters um but I think the chapters after that don't really need much change so that'll be good hopefully I'll finish scene six today that is the goal it's only like 3 p.m so we can do that right yeah good morning it's the next day I I, I didn't finish the thing yesterday I ended up watching a movie with my mom and then I don't know, I just did a bunch of other stuff. Um, but we're, listen, it's still early, so we're just gonna finish scene six now. Oh my god, I just remembered yesterday evening, like right before I was going to bed, I, I completely forgot about this until just now, because I'm back into my story and I'm like, wait, yesterday I was a little bit stuck at some point and like I figured it out yesterday, right before going to bed. I just hope I remember it because obviously I didn't write anything down because I'm stupid. <laughs> So I haven't finished it yet, um, but I added this thing that I'm so proud of. <laughs> My husband's playing Resident Evil. <laughs> Anyways, so I added this part into this little heist plan thing that my main character has to do and it's just i'm so proud of it i'm so, I, it's just it's so it's one of those things where if i read it in someone else's book i would be so i would be like really impressed <laughs> is it like listen sometimes you can be proud of yourself and your storytelling and today that was such a day but that does mean that like i'm adding quite a bit once again um, so <laughs> I'm um, just, it's turning out to be a little bit longer than I thought it would so I'm still working on it um, Actually, I've taken a break and I've edited uh, a YouTube video that I'm very excited to share by the way It's about the shadow and bone Netflix series and since that's rendering now uh, I kind of want to take a break off of my computer screen uh, and put my eyes onto something else and I'm just gonna read a little bit do a little bit of reading and then I don't know in an hour or so I'll get back to the chapter. I do hope I finish scene six today because come on. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hello. It's like a few days later. I still haven't finished scene six. 
Don't worry about it. Also, my hair is different. Hi. Basically, I realized that a bunch is different. Like stuff, stuff is different because I changed some of like what's actually happening. I like said like, okay, I'm doing this and this different, right? But like I didn't detail it out. Like I didn't properly. And now I'm kind of like stuck with like the the exact how this is gonna go down. Even though this is like a really fun, exciting change, now I'm like getting stressed about it because I'm like at the point where like something is supposed to happen and I just don't know how it's gonna happen. So basically, I need to stop just trying to write the words and I need to plan it out. That's what we need to do. Uh. So, so, I haven't been writing for the past two weeks or a week and a half. Um, mainly because I've been so immersed in the book that I've been reading, which is Crooked Kingdom. Because I've decided to do this thing, right, where I'm just gonna do the things that I want to do and I'm not gonna force myself to do anything as like a mental health experiment. And so, um, so yeah, I haven't written anything in two weeks because I've just been so immersed in my book and every single little pocket of free time I've had, I've spent <laughs> reading. But I finished the book yesterday and now I just sort of feel like I'm itching to start writing again and so I don't know I like this sort of discovery in myself because I maybe it's to do with my ADD as well but like, I, I have a hard time focusing on anything ever and I have a million things that I want to do I have a million hobbies and I, I want to pursue all of them right apparently what comes most naturally to me is to just do one thing and focus on one thing for a longer period of time because I really enjoy like I was fully immersed into this book for the past week and a half to two weeks like I was so into it and you know that's when you enjoy a book the most and so now I can do the same thing but with my book and just be fully immersed you know what's stopped me before I think is the fact that I've had all these other projects that I wanted to work on like like there were so many other little projects and ideas tugging at me and then I would be like okay well I'll do like a little bit of writing and then I'll do this and then I'll do this and then I'll do this so that you know I'm, I'm working on everything and I think Maybe that's what's like been, I don't know, a little bit of a crutch. I don't know. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to start writing and just get really, really into it. My work schedule is pretty busy for the coming weeks because once again, we have a lot of sick people at work, which means the people who are not sick have to work longer hours. And so it, it's a whole thing. Yeah, very busy. But I'm hoping that if I just spend all my free time working on my book that then then yeah I'll make progress and really feel invested and like it'll be good the only thing that might distract me okay actually no there's two things crap the first thing is RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two that's I've been I've been watching that and I've been really enjoying that but I'm like halfway through and so like that will be finished soon and then the other thing is in like two days the Shadow and Bone Netflix series comes out and <laughs> I'm gonna want to watch that immediately um, so we'll see how that goes, but for now, let's just, let's stick to writing. Yes.
been writing consistently, pretty consistently, for as much as my work schedule allows it. Um, the thing is, though, this chapter that I've been working on for ever, first of all, it's it's really long. It's like seven thousand words. Oh no, wait, it's eight thousand. It's eight thousand words. Anyways, I was like done. I was done with it, and then I realized there was something missing, and I had been feeling this. For a while as I was writing but I couldn't figure out how to like fix it then I figured it out basically like we spend a lot of the first act of the book with only our main character like she doesn't really have any friends it just made so that the book was lacking dynamic everything just happened inside her head which I don't know it just it meant that I felt like it was lacking some kind of a dynamic so I've been rewriting this chapter again but she's not alone this time in like whatever she's trying to do and the whole plan is just so much more fun when there's more than one person involved especially if it's like you know my main character is not a very social person <laughs> she kind of just has to make do with the people that are around her and it's just it's so much more fun this entire chapter has just turned out a lot more fun i've been working on that for the past couple of days and i think after this rewrite the chapter is going to be done and I also think that I can finish that today so I'm very very happy about that and then after that I only have a couple more chapters to go before I finish act one finally this has been a long time coming <laughs> but when it's there it's gonna be good and I'm gonna be so proud and happy Hi. Okay, hold on. I look like a sweaty mess because I just finished a workout and I just, I realized I like haven't talked about my writing in like a while. I don't know. I just haven't like taken the time to like actually pick up my camera and talk about it. But like a lot of exciting stuff has happened and like I've been meaning to talk about it and I just haven't. So here goes. I finished Act one, I finished. I, oh my God, I finished it. I like, you don't understand how happy I was. I kind of like got a little emotional about it because it's been like, like the, the, it's just, it's been a lot. Just being able to finish this first part. And now I'm just so happy with it. Like I'm so happy with act one. Obviously there's probably still like some like stupid mistakes in it. And probably when I let other people read it, they're gonna like tell me a whole bunch of stuff that's like wrong with it. And that's fine. But like for now, I'm just like so happy with it. That's just really nice. I'm just so proud of myself for like actually finishing it. I've sent it to my brother who's like always sort of my main my main help when it comes to writing because I feel like he has a really good eye for storytelling as well. He's like quite into that kind of stuff as well. And um, he's, always, he's always very honest with me as well, which is what I need. I'm not gonna take a break from writing. I'm just gonna continue. I'm not gonna wait until I have feedback. A few nights ago, I was like lying in bed before falling asleep and I suddenly had this like re 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 revelation about act two of my book. Like act one had its issues, but like act two has like a couple of like completely different issues that I now need to tackle with. And I had like a major breakthrough in the middle of the night. Luckily, I wrote it all down in Notion real quick and today I like I imported it into my Scrivener and I'm just so happy because so often I have these revelations in the middle of the night and then I'm like oh, I'll just remember it but like I never do I never do and I actually wrote it down this time I'm very excited for act two more so than I was before because I, I've had this revelation and I now have a strategy I know exactly what I want to do what I want to focus on act one ended up being like 31,000 words which like sounds like a lot to me act two as of now doesn't have that many words like compared to act one act two is like a lot shorter which makes no sense whatsoever but with this new strategy that i have i really do think that i'm gonna like be able to actually make it like a solid act two i don't know i'm very excited to like work on my characters and like how my characters are gonna deal with what's coming for them because a lot is coming for them and i just i'm just so excited i'm really really excited